Once your UCI is complete, it's time to deploy to a touchscreen. With a single button, you could deploy your UCI to any number of QSC touchscreens, iPads, iPhones, tablets, or Windows PCs, or you could deploy hundreds of different UCIs to touchscreens across your entire enterprise. First things first, as soon as you add a user control interface to your design, you may have noticed a notification in the top menu, as well as in the design inspector, that indicate that your design incorporates a feature that requires a feature license. In the inspector, you can see that the UCI deployment is listed under Licensed Elements. When you save this design to the core and run, it will check to see if the core has a UCI deployment license. To learn more about the QSIS software license, please watch our tutorial videos on how to add a license to your core processor. Once your core is authorized to deploy UCIs, doing so is very simple. Let's look at the QSC touchscreens first. Now, QSC makes a variety of touchscreens in different sizes and formats, including tabletop and wall mount versions. Since these are networked QSIS peripherals, they need to be added to your design's inventory. Like any other inventory item, make sure that their name in their properties match the name of the physical device, which you can find using the configurator tool. Then take a look at the UCI property of this device. By default, it displays the inventory status UCI, which is that generic status page for our inventory items that we saw earlier. To change this, simply select your own custom UCI from this drop-down menu. The next time you save this design to the core, it will tell the touchscreen to display your custom UCI. For wall mount models, make sure to select either landscape or portrait. And you may notice that you can choose the flipped version of either of these if you realize that the device was installed upside down. Now, in some cases, you may want a touchscreen to have access to multiple different UCIs, perhaps depending on a user's logon code. In this case, you're gonna wanna change the UCI assignment property. In static mode, it will only display the single UCI that you've assigned. But in dynamic mode, this UCI assignment can be changed while the system is running. The selection point for this UCI now moves from the properties panel into the touchscreen's control panel. Let's drag the touchscreen status control component into our design to see this, and we'll save this design to the core. The status tab shows us the health of the device, and the configuration tab gives us a few more options. Since this UCI is in dynamic mode, you can see that I can change which UCI is displayed by using this drop-down menu here. You can do the same thing to manually change the page control. This means that you can put these fields into the UCI itself as an additional method for navigating the UCI. Or you can capture the states of these controls with a custom snapshot, which would let your user change the UCI, page, or any number of other controls in the design at the same time. Also in this area, you can adjust the brightness of the backlight on the touchscreen. You can adjust the number of minutes before the screen dims to half brightness or turns off. You can manually trigger these states and you can also disable the pop-up number pad. Certain controls like gain knobs give you the option to enter an exact value with a pop-up keypad. But if you prefer to deactivate this option, this button will do that. For QSE touchscreens, that's pretty much everything you need to know. Next, let's look at your iPhones and your iPads. For these devices, you're gonna wanna first install the free QSIS control app from the App Store. Then, connect your device to the same wireless network that your QSIS system is on. Now, you'll see a list of all of the available UCIs, and you can select which one you wanna display. Remember, if you don't want a certain UCI to be listed on this screen, change its private setting to yes. You can also access a UCI from a networked Windows desktop or tablet. Again, you'll need to install a free software to do this. In this case, it's the UCI Viewer application. This application comes zipped as a separate executable file when you download the QSIS Designer software. When you launch this standalone application on your Windows device, you'll see a list of available UCIs on the network. This program has a couple of extra buttons to collapse the side panel, enter full screen mode, the top menu bar, etc. You can also right click to select each of these modes. Using the QSIS control app or the UCI viewer software gives you the advantage of selecting any UCI on the network. But there is one disadvantage. 
I showed you that you can manually change the UCI or page that is currently displayed on your QSC native touchscreen within QSYS because you have a component that represents the exact physical device. This loads a snapshot that might reset every touchscreen to a welcome screen or log every user off at the end of the day. You get the idea. But there's no corresponding component for your iPad or Windows PC. So how can you control that device from QSYS? Don't worry, we thought of that. For this case, you're going to go to your inventory and you're gonna add a UCI viewer. Both the QSYS control app and the UCI viewer software can be configured to sync to this UCI viewer, which can then in turn be controlled within QSYS. In the Windows application, this is very easy. Simply select UCI viewers rather than UCI names, and you can sync with the UCI viewer component of your choice. For iPads and iPhones, you actually need to navigate to your device's settings screen and then find the entry for QSYS control. Here, you'll find an empty field called UCI Viewer Name. Be sure to enter the exact name of your UCI Viewer from the design into this field. Now when you connect, your device will sync with that UCI Viewer and behave like a touchscreen that can be controlled by QSYS. And that's it for deployment. Don't forget that you can and should test your UCI in emulation mode. You don't need a UCI deployment license to do this, and you can even do it without a core. So now we've shown you all the tools that you have at your disposal to build, customize, and deploy that UCI, but just because you have a hammer and a chisel doesn't mean that you can make a sculpture. Eh? So in the next videos, we'll dive into some basic concepts on how you can make your UCI easy to understand and navigate with the user experience in mind. Let's take a quick break and We'll see you next time.